Hi, my name is Matt, I'm with OptiSigns, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your very own interactive kiosk using OptiSigns and our interactive kiosk application. Nowadays, kiosks are gaining immense popularity due to their convenience. It doesn't matter if you're in retail or hospitality, an interactive kiosk can help elevate your customer experience. The best part is this is an absolute breeze to configure with OptiSigns. Assuming you already have a touch screen in your website URL, we can do this in under three minutes. You heard that right. Within three minutes, you can configure an interactive kiosk within OptiSigns. In today's example, we've got a kiosk placed in a furniture store. By default, it's showing promotional material for the store. You can have this configured with a playlist or an asset within OptiSigns. Once the customer comes up to the kiosk and interacts with it, they'll be navigated to the website where they can then view inventory, pricing, and other product information. In this section, I'll show you just how easy it is to configure your interactive kiosk within the OptiSigns web portal. First, you'll need to log into the web portal, app.optiscience.com. By default, you'll be brought to our screens page. For this demonstration, we're gonna assume that you've already paired the kiosk device with the OptiSigns web portal. To get started, you'll wanna to navigate to the files and assets page. Simply search for the interactive kiosk on the list. There are a few configuration options to cover with the interactive kiosk. We've actually configured a demo. Now again, you'll notice we have all of these assets uploaded. So these are what we're gonna use in the kiosk or in a playlist that we assign to the kiosk. If we go over the options with our kiosks here, we have, of course, the name of the kiosk. We have the playback type. This can be a single asset or application or a playlist, which is a, a looping set. You'll, of course, assign the asset or playlist here. You'll assign the kiosk URL. This is the website that the customers will be interacting with. You'll assign a timeout. This is the amount of time the screen will rest until going back to the default playlist or asset. You'll wanna usually preload the kiosk URL. This preloads the URL in the background and allows for a seamless transition when the customers interact with your kiosk screen. Our touch icon is by default the pointer finger icon that you see urging customers to interact with the screen. It can be any image. The pointer icon is just our default. It's an overlay image. If you choose custom icon, you can upload your own PNG to use as the indicator. The touch icon size scales that icon. The touch icon location by default is random. It'll move all around the screen, but you can give it a assigned location. And the touch here icon blinking rate is just an effect on the touch here icon and you increase or decrease that rate and it increases or decreases the frequency of the blinking. There are a couple of advanced options as well as far as return URL. This is used if you're having your customers fill something out like a survey, for example. Once you've completed configuring your interactive kiosk application, you'll of course wanna save it. You can assign it directly to your kiosk device from here with the push to screens option or from the edit screens menu on the screens page. And that's it for the interactive kiosk app within OptiSigns. It allows you to easily configure an interactive kiosk to increase customer engagement, and there's no coding required. If you do need any support or assistance, you can reach the support team at support at OptiSigns.com or with the little green help buttons in the lower right-hand corner of the web portal. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.